consider a classic and timeless smoky eye it's gold and it's a red lip i think that is so classic and so wearable year around it's just perfect for any season any occasion pretty much anything <laughs> i know some people think that red like they can't pull off a red lip i honestly think there is a perfect red for every skin tone there's deeper reds like this necklace is a brighter red like i have on and there's an even more bright like an even brighter red there's like orangey reds there's like brownie reds there's like red reds there's like there's so many different reds purple reds like there's so many different reds that i feel like any skin tone or any skin undertone can wear you know what i mean but anyways, I am so, so, so happy that you guys noticed the work and the effort that I'm putting in to my videos. I've gotten a couple comments from you guys saying that they love that my videos are back to back to back and it keeps you on your toes. I can't think of the person right off of my head, but I read your guys' comments and I try to respond back to every single one. And if you feel like I don't respond back to your, your comment, it's only because your comment is disabled. I don't know if you're... Like, I don't know, I don't know what's going on with it, but I try to comment back, so I try to at least thumbs it up so you know that I read it, but I can't comment back to it. But I really try to comment back to everyone. Like I mentioned in my last video, I love it when you guys comment, and I can comment back and tell you my personal opinion and my feedback and kind of, you know, interact with you guys a little bit more. It feels so good to talk to you guys. I consider you guys my friends, <laughs> my family at that, so... I don't know, I talk to Jack, like, a lot, and, like, he's like, yeah, babe, you have fans, and I'm like, they are not my fans, not my fans, they are my friends, friends, and he's like, okay, well, you're friends, because you guys are who I talk to when I wake up in the morning and when I go to sleep at night every time I post a video, it feels good, and we are growing, you guys, we are growing at a rate of speed that I cannot wrap my head around. I check my analytics like every couple of days and I got like 899 subscribers within the last 28 days. <sighs> like I remember when I first started out doing these videos and I wasn't getting subscribers like at all and it, it kind of was hurting my feelings and I didn't understand what I was doing wrong or what I could fix but now I'm at the point where I'm getting almost a thousand of you guys a month. Like I can't even fathom it. It makes me want to cry like seriously. <laughs> Anyways, so I'm just gonna stop talking, stop rambling. I hope you guys enjoy this video. I really love it. I love how it turned out. If you don't want to wear the glitter, which the glitter doesn't even look like glitter to me. It looks more so, it's so fine. It's such a fine glitter that it doesn't even like, it's not chalky. I mean, it gets all over my face, but you can't really see it underneath of my makeup or anything like that. It's such a fine glitter. It makes it really easy to apply. And I didn't show you guys what primer I used for it. I used this e.l.f. glitter primer that I got from Target for like, two bucks and I swear by it I use it every time I wear glitter it never fails me it applies my glitter so well and so flawlessly so I hope you guys enjoyed this video I really really love it I keep like staring at myself like ooh, bitch who are you today <laughs> but I hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one Mwah. bye guys so to start this look off I'm priming my lids and I'm using my Lorac Perfection concealer because this is what I use to carve out underneath of my brows so I just use whatever was left over now I'm going into Makeup Geeks Vanilla Bean and I'm popping that underneath of my brow with an elf eyeshadow brush just for an highlighted appearance you don't have to do this you can use the concealer as your highlighter but I chose to use an eyeshadow today so now I'm going in with Makeup Geeks Cocoa Bear on a Sigma E40 blending brush and I'm just placing this into my crease just so I have a lot of warmth growing on and since this is a reddish brown color it's going to be very warm in the crease and it's going to stand out against that black and that matte brown that we're going to use later on you want something that's not going to make your eyes look too muddy so this is the perfect shade so now i'm going in with corrupt with a sigma e i believe this is the e47 tapered kind of crease brush and i'm just placing this corrupt shade right into the socket of my crease so right directly where i feel my brow bone i'm going right in there so it's not 
it's directly in my crease if that makes sense <laughs> but i'm just going back and forth and now buffing it out and i'll continue to go back in and dab in a little bit more color and just intensify it towards the crease area just the tiniest bit more i don't want to be too to be too muddy so now i'm going to go in with coastal senses deep roast on a coastal sense kind of um, like tapered blending brush I'm not sure of the, the name of this brush but I'm just taking that deep rose shade and that matte brown shade and just buffing that black out so there's a transition between cocoa bear and corrupt so it's not just like black and then reddish brown you know what I mean so you want to blend those two together so that it all flows seamlessly so now I'm gonna go in with this Ulta brilliant color in the shade gold and I'm using a BH cosmetics kind of fluffy well not fluffy a flat top brush and I'm just packing that all over my lid and I'm bringing it right up to where, it, where we applied corrupt in the crease. And I'm kind of making this a cut crease, but not too defined and too intense of a cut crease. So kind of like a, like a semi-cut crease, if you know what I mean. So I'm just packing that gold shade all over my lid. Then I'm going in with the e.l.f. glitter primer that I showed you guys in the intro part. I didn't apply a clip because I knew I would show it in the beginning. And then I'm using this eye candy glitter in the shade Honey Drop. And it's not an intense gold glitter. It's more of a bronzy kind of glitter. But it tones down the gold so that way it's more wearable for women that don't want to go you know over and beyond with the gold but I really like this glitter it's extremely fine I'm using a Sigma E or F70 concealer brush to apply this because I wanted something synthetic and that so that it wouldn't stick to the hairs of the brush if you know what I mean so now moving on to or I'm sorry we're going to eyeliner <laughs> I'm using my NYC black liquid eyeliner eyeliner this is my trusty so I decided to go with this and because I was working with glitter I didn't want to use a gel eyeliner because it would just move and shift and just disperse the um the glitter that we had put all over our lid so i just went with the liquid eyeliner because it was easier to work with and plus i'm just extending a wing eyeliner and it makes it a lot easier to do a wing eyeliner with liquid liner moving on to face i'm using this Lorac perfection concealer or Oh my god, Lorac Perfection Primer. What am I talking about? And I, <laughs> I'm priming my skin to prepare. Yeah, don't mind my breakouts. They're a mess. To prepare my face for my foundation, I'm using my Tarte Amazonian Clay Full Coverage Foundation today with a Sigma F80 Flat Top Kabuki Brush. And I'm just buffing this all over my skin. This is the ultimate coverage. I love this foundation. It gives me amazing coverage. It's the perfect tone for my skin tone it's just an all-around amazing awesome foundation then i'm using maybelline's better skin concealer in the shade medium slash deep and i'm blending that out with my beauty blender i'm doing underneath my eyes my chin and my keep it spell i do those in sections just so they won't dry by the time i get to them i find that when i work and i put it all over my face all at once and i work in sections it all is ended up drying directly where i placed it by the time i get to that area so i just do it in sections and i also did it down the bridge of my nose then i'm going to bake with my laura mercier uh, loose setting powder and translucent you guys already know <laughs> i'm using my real techniques miracle complexion sponge to bake i'm applying this powder everywhere where i applied my concealer just so it settles in and make sure it locks that concealer directly where i placed it and it's also going to intensify the highlight as well then i'm going in with my nikki garrett contour palette in the shade dark and i'm contouring my cheekbones and my jawline with my real techniques contouring brush then i'm going to go back in with that laura mercy a loose setting trans loose setting powder and I'm going to put this right underneath of where my contour is I used to do the con the powder before I contoured but then I decided that it would make more sense for me to sharpen it up after I contoured so I changed it up a little bit on you guys and then I'm just gonna blend and buff everything away with a flat top kabuki brush and I left this on for about five minutes while I, while I snapchatted and everything like that then I'm gonna go right back in with my contouring palette by Nikki Garrett and then contour my nose I'm using a Coastal Sense Contouring Brush, it's the BR, let's see, BRCS45 Contouring Brush, and I really, really love it. It makes contouring my nose really easy. For blush, I'm using Milani's Red Vino, and I'm just popping that onto my cheekbones with a no-name blush brush. Then I'm using this Benefit Watts Up Little Highlighter. It's a cream highlighter, and I wanted my highlight to be very intense, kind of like the strobing method, quote-unquote, if you guys want to say that. <laughs> So I'm just putting that onto my cheekbones and then I'm just going to buff it into my skin with my finger because I find with a cream product, using your finger in the warmth of your skin is going to blend it out a lot easier. 
So then I'm going to go in with my Laura Geller highlighter in the shade Ballerina. This is the Gelato highlighter and it just came out recently and you've probably seen it all over Instagram. It's really popular and really good. Then I'm going into this Jordana 12 hour made to last eye coal pencil in the shade black and I'm lining my lower lash line and then I'm lining directly underneath of it. Sorry, I was really out of frame and it's just so annoying. <laughs> then I'm going in with an Anastasia Beverly Hills pencil brush that came with one of my palettes and I'm just buffing that out so it's all buffed out and blended out. My lashes are House of Lashes Coco La or I'm sorry, House of Lashes Iconic, oh my god, all over the place. For lips, I'm using Stila's liquid lipstick in the shade Amore or Amore. And it's this, um, I don't really know. It's a liquid lipstick and it's probably, probably my favorite formulation. It's like really like tacky, if you know what I mean. It's not very drying and very, like it doesn't settle into my lines or my crusty lips. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I really loved how it turned out. If you did enjoy this video and like this look, please give it a thumbs up and also leave me a comment, any comment down below, whether it's letting me know what you want to see next or that you just love the look. I really appreciate it and I will talk to you guys later. Mwah. Bye! I just wanna take your time